Pakistan is always in the news over its attack on Christians. One of the main reasons for persecution is to suppress their Christian faith and to marginalize their voice. Christians are most persecuted religious minority in Pakistan. In recent years, Christians brace continuous deadly a terrorist attack in the Pakistan, leaving hundreds of them dead. Two bomb blasts at churches in Lahore uh, killed 14 people. A twin suicide bomb attack at Peshawar Church in 2013 left around 80 dead. In 2009, nearly uh, 40 houses um, and the church were burnt by the mob in Gojra town in Punjab, with eight people burnt alive. And then uh, if we look at more, in 2005, hundreds of Christians had to flee their homes in Faisalabad as um, churches and Christian schools were set on fire by a mob claiming Christian had burned pages of the Quran. So another attack also took place in Lahore uh, last year, resulting in the uh, deaths over, the, you know, dozens of people. So Lahore is actually a capital of Punjab province where the majority of Christians uh, you know in the country reside so more than 95 percent of Pakistani uh, 180 million people are Muslims so less than two percent are Christian Hindus and other religious minorities the violent persecution of uh, Christian is on the rise uh, because you know Christian you know Christ followers in Pakistan are being torched, killed and forced from their homes simply for you know to following Lord Jesus Christ. Now the Islamic State organization is starting to attract you know attention of radicals of Islam in Pakistan, a long cradle for Islamic militancy. So Pakistani now Pakistani schools you know teach their children to hate uh, Christians and other religious minority, the government has failed to keep its promise of, uh, you know, uh, eradicating religious hate material from textbooks used in school, a promise made after, you know, deadly Taliban attack on a school in 2014. So the Pakistani government 20, uh, 20 uh, points national action plan um, was created to discourage religious extremists and to minimize uh, what is seen by many as the you know hateful school uh, syllabus the national action plan was drafted in you know in the wake up of taliban attack on the military uh, sorry army public school in peshawar into um, in december 2014 during the attack 132 students lost their lives to extremist uh, gunmen. So government of Pakistan cannot take a serious action against these Taliban and proscribed organization because government always use Taliban for their own you know benefits. So unfortunately instead of minimizing hate materials and this you know discouraging religious extremism um, the opposite seem to be occurring with a growing trend toward a more biased uh, syllabus and the more religious extremism being taught in Pakistani uh, you know public school and universities and you can see the Lance uh, incident um, you know Mishal Khan a university student he was terminated because of you know their personal vendetta but they, you know, turn that to the uh, him as a blasphemer. So the abuse of uh, Pakistani blasphemy law are, you know, some of the starkest example of persecution in Pakistan. They have been devastating for minority, including, uh, you know, Christians, who uh, must always act with caution in, you know, case and allegation of blasphemy is rise to settle you know as a personal score so you can also look at the social media what happened this year you know a blasphemy case was brought against a boy 
for simply responding to a cartoon about you know Islam on social media on Facebook so society is uh, Pakistani society you know in general is becoming increasingly Islamic in Pakistan and the Christian make up just two percent of population so there are evidence of Christians you know being treated aggressively simply for wearing a cross and cars with the you know Christian stickers are more likely to be stopped by uh, the police but this type of harassment is you know mild in um, comparison with the you know experience of hundreds of Christians women and girls an estimated 700 are abducted every year in Pakistan so they are often raped and forced to marry Muslim men so which also involves you know false uh, you know uh, force uh, conversion and uh, and if their families you know simply complain they are accused of you know harassment by the extremists by the radicals Pakistan rank as the fourth worst country in the world for Christian which is the highest the Muslim majority country has ranked on the world watch list Christian persecution complication if we do not wake up it will be too late for Christian